All right, and we're back. So, what is going on here? Who knows? I'm going to rip all this packaging off. Because that's how we're doing this. So, spin this around here. If anybody's interested, this is a very cheap, forever sharp steak knife. Oh my god. First thing that's presenting itself. Get right in there with it. Yeah, that is the gig bag that comes with this guitar. Oh my goodness gracious. This is awesome. Holy shit, the body's in it. Oh my gosh. So, the body and the neck. The body and the neck. Here's where we're at. Holy mackerel. I've just been really, really into it. Oh, man. Look at it. It only unzips from the bottom. It doesn't go all the way up. You stick the guitar in. That's it. Oh, boy. Uh, I'm going to find all of the extras. <laughs> there is the amazing shaped tremolo arm. Oh, what are these? Oh, this is more information. Is this the guy who I bought it from? Private collection of electric guitars, Siberian collection. Wow. Okay, what's on the back? Oh, the other language. Wow, so this must be who I purchased this from. Uh-huh. Oh, because this has... Oh boy, I don't know what this means. I don't think you just plug a quarter inch in... Oh, you do. You j This is just a weird adapter for the five pin to convert that to a quarter inch jack. Oh boy. Mm hmm. I have to presume that that goes this way. And again, that beautiful, beautiful shape of the tremolo arm. Oh my goodness, I cannot wait to see what this is like. Oh, wait a second, are these. I'm going to say without seeing it yet, that those are parts of the bridge. Okay, well, let's see what else we got in here. Oh, you gotta be serious. That's awesome. This horrible, pardon me, this horrible patent leather guitar strap. What do you think so far, Stevie? I didn't think so. Okay, well, I'm going to jump here for a moment and let's see. Let's see the neck first. I'm like killing myself with the anticipation here. I already made two weird references like that. I don't know. Pull the trigger, killing myself a little bit. I feel it all like oh my gosh what is this oh this poor 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 fretboard has just been so dried out this neck is gigantic I'm going to do some zoom-ins on Wow. The shape of this heel is incredible. This is such a bizarre... This is such bizarre construction. Everywhere I looked on the internet, I could not find one of these guitars completely torn apart. And that's the only reason that I'm making this video. 
and to show you my laundry. Wow. I don't believe that these frets are brass. Everything that I've read about them said that these are brass frets, but they're awfully silver. They're a little bit worn out. You see this, the zero fret. So you see some of the strings have worn into the, uh, into the fretboard where the nut's awfully low. So rad. String tree, so... Gosh, I just love it. I just love this. This is based on the Yamaha Flying Samurai. If you could say it's based on everything I've read, largely coming from Drowning in Guitars, Frank Meyer's website. I've yet to read his book, but I guess there's some bits about this. But anyways... This is a ripoff of the Yamaha Flying Samurai. So here's what just struck me immediately, other than oh, there, it isn't just so clean. I, none of the ones that I found. Now that's a little wiggly. These are wiggly like, like my daughter's tooth. All the ones that I found had different tuners on them, or the tuners were rusted, or there was one was missing, or one of them I saw, the guitar was so pretty looking, and it had left-handed tuners on it. Left-handed, cheap, black left-handed tuners. And I was like, I don't want that. I want, I want a guitar in as sweet of shape as somebody else would have dealt with. Now here, I, <laughs> I'm very, very curious about what is going on here. That is such an interesting shape for the heel. I, I mean, there's the truss rod in there. I, it's. I mean, that binding. It's so sloppy, but so also so beautiful. Oh well. Should see what. The rest of this thing looks like. I mean, I'm pretty, <laughs> pretty satisfied thus far. But I'm also a mark for weird things like this. So, all right, nothing in there. Is there anything else hiding in this bag that I should know about? This is unbelievable. This is just such a fascinating thing to me. This. Oh my goodness. Oh man. I should just delete this video because I'm basically just losing my mind about a freaking weird Soviet era guitar. The part of the thing that really, really gets me curious or interested in this guitar, in these Soviet era guitars specifically, the real story is that Stu McKenzie from King Gizzard and the Flying the Flying Wizard, King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard. I got it. I'm going to videotape this part. So it's all wrapped up in bubble wrap like this. Stu from King Gizzard plays one of those Yamahas. In looking about them, I came across one of these. This being Soviet Union's answer to that guitar. Essentially, oh my god, it's so awesome. This thing is so beautiful. I'm so into this super fucking weird guitar. They inverted the body shape. They kept the headstock shape. They tried their best. Um, so look, they were they had the bridge on these pins. Keeping this thing wrapped like this for whatever reason, just to keep that in shape. I don't, that's pretty good packaging. I look forward to leaving this guy. Excellent feedback. This is their completely fucked up camshaft driven. I don't know. I, I look. I'm going to make a video of taking this thing apart. I want to know what's under the hood. And this is the part that I will draw attention to. This base plate needs to be shifted this way uh, a centimeter. I'll see what it is when I get some strings on this thing. But one of the things that I noticed. 
Oh, and there are the bolts. Okay, one of the things that I noticed when the pictures of it that I bought, the pictures that sold me on this guitar, part of it was that I could see the low E string was almost flush with the binding and that the high E string was way up here, which I first thought, oh, maybe the neck is a sitting weird in the pocket, but then I could notice on the pickups that the low E string was over here and the high E string was almost in between the B and the E spots on the pickup. So that led me to think it's a simple fix. I can just move those two screws over. And good grief, the condition of this thing is really just something else. It is very, very clean. I am as happy as I would be, as happy as I could hope to be. So yes, there are over here, these will go there, perhaps the other way, yeah, perhaps this way, and that will help me to set that height, I'll obviously want to do that before I put the screws in, so that's going to be interesting, I'll just mark it off, anyways, perhaps I'll make a video on that. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to take this whole entire thing apart, but this is just the unboxing part. I mean, switches feel good. doesn't make the click. Interesting. Look at this bridge. So the bridge is, I mean, yeah, the tremolo, rather, is modeled after that Yamaha Flying Samurai. 